<laughs> Just uh, avoid putting any pressure on his belly, essentially. Uh, so when you pick him up, just loop around the chest and yeah, his butt. I'll hand him on over. You're welcome. You be a good boy for this Hey everyone, we are back. <laughs> oh, oh. Thank you, sir. So we have a lot to catch up on. In January, during a routine check, the oncology team found that Gatsby might have another cancer. Both of Gatsby's adrenal glands, which are the hormone-producing glands in the body, were slightly enlarged, but one, his left side, was significantly larger. They said it looked really abnormal and it looked very angry. The adrenals are located right around his hip area, right behind the rib cage but all the way near his spine. Unfortunately, adrenal glands are very, very risky to remove. They are actually considered the most dangerous surgery to do. If you followed us in the last vlog, you'll know that we were able to get one of the best in the world to do Gatsby's adrenal gland surgery. They just happened to be at UC Davis. My parents came and flew over to be with me again. Just knowing that it was so risky, I was just... <laughs> It really was so stressful. A few days before Gatsby surgery, I wanted to take Gatsby to the beach, to his favorite beach, to run around. After the surgery, Gatsby would have stitches in him. He wouldn't be able to exercise and run around until he recovered. You know, you would never know that Gatsby had cancer. He had so much energy. He was running around on the beach. The other reason is that Gatsby really needed a bath. After surgery, they can't get the stitches wet or they can't get the area wet. And also, you know, it's one of his favorite places and I wanted to like have a really good memory. If something went wrong with the surgery, at least he would have a really enjoyable memory and you know, yeah, so. That was kind of my mind space that I was in at the time. I, I was just really stressed out. After that weekend, on Monday, it was time for Gatsby to go in for his surgery. A few things that made Gatsby a really good candidate for surgery was that he is in really good shape. He's like a really good weight. We had an appointment at 9 a.m. for Gatsby's consultation and then he would go straight into surgery afterwards. The surgery la would last about three hours. He would do everything laparoscopically, which is instead of cutting open the whole stomach, he would make tiny incisions and stick the instruments in and do the surgery from inside of him. After the three hours, they said that Gatsby would have to stay in Davis for the next few days while they uh, ran tests to make sure that he was stable. After surgery, um, they said that they would call me and sure enough, exactly at 3 p.m. I got the call and he told me that Gatsby did very, very well through surgery. They were able to seal everything off so that there was no internal bleeding and that all they did was they very, very slowly picked the adrenal and peeled it away. And by doing it incredibly slowly and internally, they were able to avoid any of the complications that could occur. So that was a huge relief. I, I felt so much better. And they had to make sure that his body was able to adapt to only having one adrenal gland now in his body. So the next morning they called me and they told me that they ran the tests and Gatsby's hormone levels were normal, meaning that um, his body was able to adapt to just having one adrenal gland and that he was recovering well from surgery and that I could pick him up probably by the next day. The next day I drove back up to Davis with my family. We just picked up Gatsby. He got shaved on the side over here and the incisions I think are in the stomach. They said he did really well and he's doing really well, so that's good. What a relief. We're gonna drive back home now, but everything went really well, so. It just has to be really stay calm for two weeks. Okay, ready to head back home? Oh, how come they shaved his whole belly and everywhere when they only made the small incisions? The surgeon told me that they need to shave the whole body because due to an emergency where they would need to cut open his stomach, they wouldn't have time to shave his whole body. So that's why they do that. We made it back in the car. Right now we are charging at a Tesla charger. Gatsby is definitely very loopy. He is on some anesthetics. It definitely has not been the same um, you know, without him in the house. How are you doing? Are you, are you loopy? 
Yes, so this is where the IV was put in his arm. Good boy, Gatsby. Good boy. And right here. I did notice that he for sure seemed really out of it. That was a long car ride. Okay. And when I tried to feed him later that day, he did not want to eat and he did not want to drink. I called the vets, they said that yeah, you can try giving him boiled chicken breast. And so I went to the supermarket and bought those ingredients and brought it back to him and he would not eat it. And then he started vomiting on the carpet and then he started having diarrhea on the carpet. Thankfully on day two, he agreed to drink some water and once he started drinking some water, he started feeling a lot better. Um, we tried giving him the food then and he ate it. Um, day two, after he ate some food, he definitely I would say he gained a little bit of consciousness. But every single time I would give him his pain medication, he would be back to like not knowing where he was and it was pretty worrying. There you go. Day three, he was still, when I tried to take him out to use the bathroom to potty, he um, still didn't really want to walk. So I would carry him out to the potty area and then carry him back. Uh, by, but by day four, he was like fully recovered. He was walking normally and he seemed like himself again. He was fully aware of his surroundings and reacting to everything. He's just been sleeping all day long, which is good. So Gatsby is eating and pooping normally, which is good now. It has been almost a week. Um, he's doing very, very well now and he's back to normal for the most part. He's just having to relax. It, it felt like so much weight was was lifted off of me. I feel so much better, so much better. I really hope that um, this was really like the last health thing for a while. <laughs> I mean, I was dealing with this cancer for such a long time and it really was taking up all my time and all my mind space and really, you know, after that, it, it really just lifted so much pressure off of me. Other than that though, I just got the call today. They did a biopsy on the adrenal gland to see what was going on because unfortunately, they cannot take a biopsy of his adrenal gland or poke it while it's still in his body to see if it was cancerous. They didn't even know if it was cancerous. The only way you can do a biopsy is if you remove the adrenal gland and then do a biopsy on the removed gland because if you did it from within the body, it would start bleeding and like really bad things would happen. So Gatsby had an adrenal cortical carcinoma, which means it was a malignant tumor in his adrenal gland. So it was a really good thing that we got it removed. Gatsby had two adrenal glands. One of them was like way larger and the other one was slightly enlarged, but still not too much. So they still don't know what's going on with the one that's still in his body. What we do know is that um, it's not growing that fast and so I asked them, you know, is there like a correlation between like if one of the adrenal glands had cancer, do we know that the other one, you know, would have the same thing? And they said that there's no correlation, that they're not really connected in any way and it wouldn't spread between the two of them. The other one could be benign and it's just like a benign slow growing tumor. That's what I'm really hoping it is. We're gonna have to keep monitoring it. He's gonna have to keep getting ultrasounds for the rest of his life. You guys are pretty much all caught up. I just wanna thank you guys for all of your support, you know, and sending all the good vibes. Everyone sent so much love to Gatsby. I felt, I really felt it too. Um, you know, when during his surgery, I was very worried for him and I'm so thankful for you guys. And I'm really thankful to all of you, to everyone also who purchased a lot of our merchandise from our store. All that money is going towards helping pay for Gatsby's medical bills. It's a lot. So um, I just want to thank you guys so much for all of that. If you want to get some merchandise, you can still go to CordyOnFleet.com. I think Gatsby should be pretty good soon and we can get back to our lives. Oh, Gatsby. Today has been nine years since we met. It's our nine year anniversary, our nine year gotcha day. Again with that furless belly. Thanks so much you guys for watching and sticking with us. Gatsby, thank you so much for being with me for nine years. Gatsby.